So if you guys watched my last video, which was my May monthly favorites, you would have known that I talked about Panchakarma. I actually went out to California and got Panchakarma debt. And if you're not familiar with what Panchakarma is, it is an Ayurvedic sort of detox cleanse it's like an intense detox and an intense cleanse on your body and it is an ayurvedic practice and ayurveda is the oldest healthcare system it's over 5,000 years old it originated in india i know this video is kind of lengthy and it kind of goes a little bit deep into um, certain things but i think it's important to know like what it all means I'm not an expert in this again, but I just wanted to share because it's interesting. It's really, really interesting, and I've been wanting to get Panchakarma done for several years now. Hi guys, my name is Karina, and today I'm going to be talking about Panchakarma. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So before I get into my actual Panchakarma experience, I'm going to explain a little bit about what Panchakarma is and what it entails. Now it's obviously going to be different for each person because it goes by each person's constitution or dosha and it also goes by what imbalances you currently have in your body. And it all it's uh, mind body soul holistic practice so it goes by you know all the stressors in your life what's going on in your life at the time um and environmental exposures family issues and that holistic approach so it can differ and range from person to person but i will describe a little bit of the general overview so i have never gotten puncture karma done before this was my first time experience and I have to say I really enjoyed it to if I had to like sum it up it was for me seven is a, it was a seven day treatment and it was literally seven days of just getting intense massages and I ain't complaining about it because it felt so freaking good like it literally was self-care but like other people giving you massages and you just like laid there and dozed off and was in you're in la la land and it was just such a relaxing feeling it felt amazing so in sanskrit panchakarma actually means five actions or five treatments and it is a type of detox to cleanse the whole entire body and it is an intense cleanse and basically you're cleansing the body of ama which in ayurveda ama means toxins or waste like bad waste and you normally do puncha karma two times a year, so one in the spring and one in the fall every year. This was my spring puncha karma detox cleanse. And by doing it two times a year, that's really supposed to help you clean out all of the waste and the toxins as the seasons change. So that's like the two main seasonal changes that you would do this treatment. I mean, you could do it any time really, I'm sure, but that's what Ayurveda says that you should do to get like the optimum results. So I'm not an expert in this region at all and I'm going to be butchering all of these names because I don't know how to pronounce half of them so please just bear with me. Okay so there are like five main treatments that you can get in Panchakarma and I will be reading them off and the first one is oh my gosh also I'm sick sort of kind of I don't know my throat hurts Ugh. and I have a massive headache so bear with me okay so va mana which is enomedics ver ichana which is laxatives busty which is medicated enema nausea which is nasal medications rakata Mo, m m moksha, which is bloodletting, so releasing blood. And within those like five different regions, it depends on what imbalances you have, and then you would go in to each of those, and there are more treatment options that you would 
then further go into depending on the person's imbalances, if that makes any sense. Okay, so how it works is basically it's removing the excess amount of dosha that you have, which is like gonna be your imbalance, and it corrects the imbalances and it eliminates ama from organs and the elimination channels. So again, ama is the toxins or the buildup, the bad waste buildup within the body. And the ama really stores on a cellular level as well as stores in your organs and it just goes everywhere within the body. So it basically purifies tissue at a deep level and it involves like daily massages, oil baths, herbal enemas, and nasal administration of medication. And depending on what kind of treatment you have, you might have one technician performing treatment on you or you might have two technicians performing treatments on you at the same time. It is actually really cool how the technicians work in unison. You just have to experience it. It's like, I don't know. It's one of those things where you just have to experience it. Me telling you is just not gonna do it justice. Okay, so now going into the actual treatment options that you can have so abhyanga is one of them which is like an oil massage and it's designed to deeply penetrate the skin break up impurities it's great for circulation lymphatic drainage gets things moving it enhances nutrients to reach starved cells and allows for removal of stagnant waste. And I am reading this because I will not be able to memorize this. Okay, the next one is Shriadara. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, and that is administered by gently pouring warm herbalized oil on the top of your forehead. It actually feels so amazing. I did get this treatment done and I did get a younger done as well, but I'll go into that more in a little bit. But it feels so awesome. I literally zoned out and then I didn't even realize what was happening. And then I woke up and my treatment was over and I was like, Holy crap, and it really helps open up the third eye and it feels amazing. Okay, and it synchronizes um, brain waves and calms down the mind, body, and spirit. The next one is Garashana, which is a dry lymphatic brushing of the skin with either like a wool or silk glove. Um, and that, again, enhances circulation as well and it cleanses the skin so that oil and herbal treatments can penetrate deeper. So again, it's removing that dead skin cell. So then whatever else um, you put on top of your skin after that, it can really penetrate and go deep within. The next treatment is Swedana? Swedana. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. Swedana. Um, and that, is basically like an herbalized steam bath and your head and your heart is kept cool but then the rest of your body is exposed to like intense steam and through that steam as your body is getting heated it really pulls out like any heavy metals or emotional or physical toxins that are built up deep within the tissues and the head and the heart is left cool or left um, unsteamed because it's supposed to have this sense of calmness and openness to the rest of your body as you're getting this treatment done. The next treatment is Pizinchile. I have no idea how to say that. Okay, but that's basically like a continuation stream of warm herbalized oil poured down over your body and at that point you would have two Ayurvedic therapist um, just doing like a deep massage to cleanse the tissues and they work in unison. The next treatment is Udvatana and that's an herbal paste that is used for a lymphatic massage. It restores the natural skin radiance while pressing stagnant lymphatic toxins out of the body. 
The next one is Basti, which is an herbal enema, and it's specifically prepared to pull out toxins from the colon. The next treatment is nausea, which you use herbal oils or herbs, and you put them in little droplet forms and you inhale it up your nostrils, so it's dealing with your nose and that really helps clean out your sinuses or any excess mucus and it also helps with dry sinus passageways as well and that really goes hand in hand with any respiratory um, issues you might be having or allergenic conditions or allergies basically the next treatment is a shiro abhyanga nausea so like a combination of the three and it's a combination of deep head, neck, shoulder massage and facial lymphatic massage followed by a deep inhalation of therapeutic aromatic steam, nasal and sinus nausea with herbalized nose drops, balances the head, neck and the re uh, any respiratory issues that you might be having. Two more left. Bear with me here. Okay, the next... One is Pinda Swadhana, which is a deep cleansing treatment where you use rice boiled in milk and herbs and massage that deeply into the skin, the tissues, the joints, and it's really relaxing and rejuvenating and it is like a powerful detoxifier. And then the last thing that they use is like a five sense therapy. So like sound, they use like Vedic mantras, touch, they use murmur points, um, which murmur points are kind of like acupressure points. Um, taste is herbal medicines, sight is color, like color therapy, and then smell is like aromatics. Okay, so that pretty much covers like the baseline of the different types of treatments and then within that it is specialized depending on each person. So it goes more into specifics, but I feel like I've already confused you enough. So I'm just going to talk about my experience. So again, I had a seven day treatment and basically it was just like seven days of like different types of massages with lots and lots of oil. You get super oily, like from head to toe. I kid you not. Like there's just oil everywhere. At that point, you ain't looking cute, okay? You just like at this place and you're super lubricated. <laughs> and it's really good for like your skin. It really like makes your skin glow and it makes your hair look amazing after you wash it. Okay, so anyways, the first day that I got treatment done. I got Abhyanga, Shiradhara, and an oil enema. And <laughs> these oil enemas, I've never gotten an enema before in my life, were no joke. I'm not even kidding you. I was kind of scared because I was like, I have to stick wet up my butthole, but whew, the things we do for health, I swear. Okay, so then the second day I got the Pizzicilli swadhana nausea and an herbal enema the third day i got um eardrops i had an herbal enema and then i had this like weird scrubby thing that they had with sandbags and it was heated i have no idea what the hell it was um i think it was called like valuka swada but it was like an exfoliant and a massage with these weird like little bulb things that were heated and it had like sand in there. I have no idea. But it felt really good because they were heated and I was freezing. Uh, the fourth day I had like this coffee scrub and then rice boiled in uh, hot coconut milk. So that was the Pinda Swadhana oil enema and eye drops. The fifth day I had murmur points done to me. Um, and eye drops, herbal enema, and I think it was called like Bustry. Basically what it is, is it kind of targets like the chakras. So they make this dough and it's in like a circular shape and then they put, they let it harden obviously and then they put the circular clay, well it's not clay, it's like dough. I think it's made out of like gram flour or something. And then they put that on your whatever 
chakra they want to target so they did my heart and then they did um my stomach region and then they pour like oil in side of that like circular dough thing i don't know what it's called <laughs> and basically it's like the oil absorbs into that chakra and then they keep like pouring oil in there as it like lowers it was really weird, um, but it was kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. It didn't hurt. Like, none of these procedures hurt, by the way. Okay, and then the sixth day, I got Abhyanga, Shiradhara, Herbal Enema, and Eye Drops. Okay, and so then the last day, the seventh day, I got um, Murmur Points, Oil Enema, and they did this weird eye treatment on me. I will insert a picture here and then, um, you will be able to see like what they did but basically again they made those like circular circles out of flour i think they use like whole wheat flour on this one and they made like little goggles for me and then they poured um ghee into that vessel and it, it like supposed it's supposed to like hold and it's not supposed to leak out sometimes it does leak out but mine didn't and then you open your freaking eyeballs as you have that contraption on you and then the ghee is supposed to like seep in. You guys, I'm not even kidding you. I was so scared. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to like burn like shit. And um, the technician was telling me sometimes it does burn. And I was like, okay, I'm going to amp myself up and I'm going to prepare for the worst. So like I slowly open my eyeballs and thank goodness it did not burn i was actually really okay like it i didn't feel anything um and then i had to do like eye exercises as the ghee was like um seeping down into my eyeball sockets so it would like lubricate and get into all the crevices and so i basically went in like circles like kind of clockwise clockwise and then um i was going into like the different corners as well and i did that for quite some time and then she like had this eyedropper and she, then she, after the treatment was done she basically took an eyedropper and extracted the ghee from my little goggles and the ghee that they used was cultured ghee so it was extra stinky i ain't a fan of ghee i've never been a fan of ghee i don't like the taste of it i cannot stand the smell of it and cultured ghee it smells like 10 times worse than regular ghee. I was just not having it. It was stinky, but I was like, okay, it's for my eyeballs. I need it. I'm really protective when it comes to my eyes. I just have horrible eyes. I'm blind as a bat, basically. And so I just really think it's important to take care of your eyes. Eye health is everything without your eyes. I mean, there's so much that you can't do, and people just take your eyes for granted and then they abuse them so i am really protective of my eyes so basically that was just like the rundown of what they did for me treatment wise i didn't use any of like the fancy words um i just wrote it down on a piece of paper as they did it each day but i went out to california to the ayurvedic healing clinic with dr suhas and dr manisha and um they are so incredible and so knowledgeable in ayurveda and then dr manisha specializes in women's health and dr suhas does vedic astrology as well as of course all of the ayurveda and i got to speak to both of them and they're just so down to earth and so nice and i stayed at the clinic so they do have um rooms at the clinic and i think it's better if you like stay within the area or at least at the clinic you're getting treatment done just because with the herbal enemas and just the procedures that they do sometimes it's just better to be like there so basically during those seven days when you get treatment done in the whatever time you have treatment um my treatment lasted about i think two hours each day um and then you wait a couple of hours after you have treatment done and then you go and you rinse off the oil you're not supposed to use any like 
soaps or shampoos or ha harsh chemicals you basically just use water to rinse off your body and rinse out your hair and you're not supposed to wash your hair so you will be an oil ball like literally you will be oily af but it really helps with people who have dry skin and it really helps you know let that oil and the treatment and the herbs sink in and soak into your body and then on the very last day the seventh day i ended up washing my hair and my hair felt so amazing it was like so fluffy and luxurious and shiny and my skin felt so amazing as well it's like super smooth and radiant and um it's just like glowing i highly recommend getting panchakarma done um just for like general health purposes and like as a maintenance to like really get a deep cleanse and get out all of those toxins that built up throughout the body because we're exposed to toxins 24 7 regardless of how like cautious you are of what you eat i mean environmentally we just have no control over certain things it's just the dis this day and age and the lifestyle that we live in unfortunately so i really liked this treatment it was so much fun for me i you're not supposed to really um be on social media and interact with a lot of people while you're doing this treatment you're not supposed to be stressed out you're supposed to be in this like relaxed calm zen mode practice a lot of yoga do a lot of meditation be around nature go on lots of walks hikes and all of that so that's why i decided to go out to california because it was super beautiful i was in santa cruz if you guys are wondering and it was rainy and cold for most of it and i was not expecting it to be rainy nor that cold but it was but i still did get some sunny days and it's really beautiful out there if you ever get a chance or if you ever have visited santa cruz then you know how beautiful it is and you should definitely go if you have it but yeah during my time i did a lot of walking i did a lot of lymphatic drainage um exercises as well they have at that specific clinic two uh, machines that you use for lymphatic drainage so i did that before my treatment and then i practiced yoga and meditation and i also did hot yoga three times um before my treatment as well because um dr suhas said that I should just go and really sweat everything out and I haven't practiced hot yoga in a really really long time um if you guys don't know I trained under hot yoga so um I missed it a lot and uh it was so much fun because I got to try the, these new hot yoga classes that I'd never done before so i did this like one hot yoga bar class i did this like um just a general like vinyasa flow and then this um bikram style 26 postures hot yoga class was my favorite i love bikram i think it's so interesting and so much fun um if you haven't done bikram you should definitely go try it out and then also i did a lot of reading and a lot of um reflecting and thinking and manifesting while i was there as well um and just really thinking about life and where i want to be and what i want to do moving onward and of course releasing um just unwanted emotions that have been stored and unwanted negative energy that had been stored in my body as well and with these procedures it can really affect people differently some people will have strong emotional um, releases other people not so much and then everything else in between because you are targeting all of these deep level issues like going deep into the tissues deep into the organs on a cellular level and a joint level so um all of those toxins and build up that have been stored in those areas will come up and release however they may whilst you're there you get um consultations every day with a doctor 
um, and they just basically check up on you, make sure you're doing okay. And I got the Vedic um, astrology part as well. So he looked into my birth chart from a Vedic standpoint. And if you guys are not familiar with Vedic astrology, it's basically Indian astrology. And Indian astrology is very different from Western astrology. Veda is um, more specific and more um <laughs> intense um but i definitely learned a lot of stuff about myself that i didn't know and i love astrology it's really really interesting so yeah you have to be really mindful and be really careful and uh not be so hard on yourself and not stress yourself out and it's kind of like going on a retreat or like you know going on vacation and just chillaxing so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed my experience and I definitely do want to get Punch of Karma done again. I will link um, the place that I went to down below in the description if you guys are interested go check it out so that pretty much sums up my punch of karma experience if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up comment below share subscribe follow me on social media turn on post notifications and other than that i hope you guys have a fantastical day health and peace